Greek Prime Minister Antonio Samaras rallied together enough support from lawmakers to secure approval of austerity measures needed to unlock bailout funds to stop Greece going bankrupt. Pension, wage and benefit cuts were approved early today, with 153 votes in favouring the bill after violent protests led by more than 50,000 million protesters who swarmed Parliament and threw petrol bombs at riot police during a demonstration against new austerity measures. Joining me on the line to discuss this further is Megan Green, Director of Economic Research and Eurozone Economist at Rubini Global Economics. Thanks for joining me, Megan. Although the austerity bill has been passed, there's still a lot of work to be done. Athens also needs to push through spending cuts and tax measures worth 13.5 billion euros, as well as bringing reforms to satisfy EU and IMF lenders. Do you think this is realistic to happen? Um, in Greece, I think it will be legislated, but the implementation is a lot tougher. Um, and also, I think that the figure of 13.5 billion euros uh, in savings is predicated on pretty optimistic um, GDP assumptions. And so, unfortunately, I don't think that Greece will manage to, um, to actually find that amount in savings, um, even once the measures are legislated. And I think that Greece will continue to miss its fiscal targets by a mile. There is still talk of Greece possibly leaving the euro. What do you think? I think the trigger for a Greek exit from the eurozone could be a collapse of the current coalition, which is extremely unstable. Um, and so I think if we do see a collapse of the coalition and we have new elections in Greece, um, I have no doubt we'll see a Syriza-led government. Uh, and then I see the new government and the Troika coming together um, and deciding, like an amicable divorce, that this relationship just was not meant to be. Uh, and I think we'll see the Troika facilitate Greece's exit from the Eurozone by providing bridge financing and trying to engage in some exchange rate targeting. So, you know, I assign a 90% probability still to Greece leaving the Eurozone. The only thing at this point, I think, that could avoid that is if the core countries were willing to provide fiscal transfers to Greece. Uh, and the problem is you can't really sign up to a fiscal transfer union with just one country in the Eurozone without the other countries also wanting the same treatment, and the core countries, particularly Germany, just don't have the room on their balance sheets um, to provide fiscal transfers um, for all of the weaker countries in the Eurozone. So unfortunately, I think it's very unlikely that we'll see um, measures taken to keep Greece in the Eurozone. And how do you think Greek debt could be reduced in the longer term? Uh, I think Greek debt will probably be reduced um, with a default. Um, so I think it will come... Um, when Greece ends up exiting the Eurozone. So we've already seen private sector involvement in Greece, um, and the privately held Greek government debt has been written down significantly. There's a lot of talk about a fiscal sector involvement now in Greece, given that uh, most Greek debt is, is now in official hands, um, official sector hands. Um, unfortunately, the IMF uh, doesn't want to take a write-down on its Greek government bonds. The ECB doesn't really want to take a write-down. Um, or forego their profits, at least, on Greek government bonds. Uh, and many of the um, Eurozone countries, particularly Germany, don't want to take a hit on their Greek government holdings. And so I don't think we'll see an OSI deal happen um, until Greece exits the Eurozone. And then when, you know, Greece issues its new currency, I think we'll see a sovereign default necessarily as the new currency depreciates massively. Um, so I think we will see Greek government debt reduced significantly, but only as part of an exit, um, not as some are arguing um, as part of a way to avoid an exit. Thanks again for joining me, Megan. Stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews brought to you by the TV team. For now, though, goodbye.